Let's uh, hit the other big story of the day, the $15 million transfer of Gaga Slonina, the starting teenage goalkeeper for the Chicago Fire to Chelsea in England, one of the biggest clubs in the world. He will be loaned back for the rest of this season, and he will arrive in England full-time in January. And let's start with the transfer itself. $15 million. We believe it's the fifth largest transfer out of MLS ever, and it is obviously the biggest for the Chicago Fire in their history, the fire making a concerted effort to shift to their Academy over the last few years and Gaga Slonina, the first and biggest success so far, when you see this move happen, sort of what's your reaction to something like this? It's like, yeah, I think we're going to get used to it. Or are we getting used to it, to this, like MLS doing this type of moves? I think it's fantastic. And I think it's great for a, for Chicago that they have this luxury because now they, they sell Solonina for this amount of money and they have on the pipeline Chris Brady ready to be his his replacement at 18 years old, like Solina was. Even, well, Solina was a little bit younger. But I think it's a benchmark for Major League Soccer. And, and I'm very happy for him. This, this is a move that it, it ends up being a happy story. But we know how hard the beginning of the year was for him on the personal side, um, having to decide between the... the the dual national thing with Poland and the USMNT and how when the rumors started about Real Madrid, about about um, about Chelsea, how he's playing, um, he's, he, he started making mistakes. Mm-hmm. Um, he, you could tell that it was something that it was bothering him and it was distracting him. So I'm happy that first this is over and now he can completely focus and keep working on what he's going to become. And yeah, it's, it's a benchmark from MLS. I think... I will say this feels bigger than Pepe, even if it's less money. Oh, interesting. Because with, with Pepe, and, and I, I don't know, I think with Pepe, there's still a lot of question marks of what type of player he's going to end up becoming. And, 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 and again, to which club he went into. We're talking about Chelsea, right? We're talking to one of the biggest clubs in the world that they, they could literally go anywhere and buy anyone. And they came to major league soccer and they came from an American goalkeeper, which is crazy. And I think it, it shows what major league soccer is doing, what the Academy is doing, what the teams are need to be doing right now with, and especially you that you've been covering uh, the, the youth um, and, and, and all the, the, the under, 17, 15, so the, all, all, all these future players and, and you, you know them better than me and all that system. And, and a lot of teams have to now look at this move and say, yeah, there's, there's, there's a way to do this. And I think this Slonina move is going to be a benchmark and, and it can, it's going to be remembered as a, as a before and after moment for, for Major League Soccer. Uh, I agree with you. I think it, it puts, again, the league in a different stratosphere um, having Slonina make a move like this, showing the value coming out of MLS. It's not just that, I think with Miazga, right? It was like, wow, Chelsea's looking at players, a young players from this league. This number tells you that they're valuing players. This is not a, we sign you so we can loan you because we don't really know, but maybe you'll be interesting. This is like, we believe in this player and we've gonna, we're going to have a plan to develop this player because at this number, you don't just waste it. Um, and it, it is a huge deal. I agree with you. And I think for, for Chicago, this is a necessary moment. It is one of the talent-rich markets in the U.S. There are so many great players that have come out of Chicago that have not come through the Chicago Fire Academy. You need moments like this to recruit the next generation, to inspire the next generation, to, sh- to prove that your pathway works. They had a couple failures, especially at the goalkeeper position over the last few years, that there was good young talent that they thought was the next player, and they weren't able to sort of figure out the pipeline and get them the right minutes. And we saw Damian Loss go over to Fulham immediately uh, and all these other moves that have happened. This is not the case, right? They've, they signed him as a 14-year-old. They slowly, gradually worked him in. They turned him into their starter. Now they sell him on. Now they're going to help continue to develop him for the rest of this year. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're in the running to bring him back on loan at times over the next few years because we know Edward Mendy is a young-ish goalkeeper who is probably going to be around for a while. 
And Gaga Sonina will probably be in and out of the Chelsea squad for a few years as he continues to get first team minutes. I think Chicago handling this right, having him leave on the right note, believing that the club treated him well, caring about the club and wanting to be a part of it. And I think Chelsea also coming back and feeling like it was a good relationship that now puts Chicago back into that running, which is to get him if they need to, or get him if he needs it. And then he can continue to be a great player for them uh, in the future. So that's exciting. Yeah. And two things that I, that I want to touch and you just, you just remind me of this, the Chicago side, like they knew the value he had, mm-hmm. right? I remember when Tom reported that this ridiculous offer of Real Madrid and then the, the Slonina agent saying that, oh, you don't, you don't turn down Real Madrid. And even Slonina maybe put in a little bit of pressure that he wanted to go to Real Madrid. And Chicago said, no, dude, you are too good. You are too talented. We're not going to give you away for $5 million. You have all this talent in the world. You are worth this. And trust us, teams are going to come and pay for that, which is the point I believe New York yeah. City FC handled the Tati situation badly, and that's why I give all the credit to Chicago. They knew what they had on their hands. They knew how to wait. They worked with player and agent, and now everybody got what they wanted, right? And and on the Chelsea side, it's just another showing how Major League Soccer and, um, and the American talent, it's now viewed in Europe. Again, Chelsea can go anywhere in the world and go buy a young Slovenian goalkeeper, whatever, to, to say just, just a country, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. But they, co- they came here and they got him for $15 million. So, yeah, this is an after, this is a before and after moment for Major League Soccer and the American talent and, and the way this league and, and, and the American young players are viewed right now around the world. Uh, for Gaga, Slonina, it's going to be interesting now. Uh, as you said, I think we saw him after he decided his international future start to settle in again. The hope for Chicago is that this settles him even more. He can stay focused. Uh, it's been much better over the last four games defensively for them, and that's without Wyatt Omsberg who was a key part of what they've done. And that's including sort of opening up the attack a little bit more. And I think a lot of that has gone down to Gaga starting to take the mistakes out. He has to learn how to be elite with a team that's playing a little bit of a higher line and not just defending in his lap and saving shots. And I think he's starting to learn that. And that's going to be key for him for the rest of this year. And then as we expect, he's going to have to find a move after that to figure out where to play consistent games. We have seen Chelsea players go out on loan to Belgium to Germany, to Scotland, as well as around England. Uh, You'd expect Gaga probably goes in January, spends the rest of the season with the first team club, training, getting to learn the Chelsea way, playing with the U23s and being a backup and maybe a cup goalkeeper for the first team. And then in the summer, sort of reassessing where he stands. As a U.S. fan, you got to be excited as well. It's been awesome to see what Stefan and Horvath and Turner have done. But for the future, this is Gaga's spot. And I think we're all hoping if he develops the way we expect, if he develops the way Chelsea expects, he will be the front runner for the USMNT number one jersey for a lot of years to come. And that's going to be awesome to see.